this time around for bars will be a little bit more hands-on on one of the stations. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. Um, but I think it'll be fun for the kids. So on the rings, um, instead of doing your basic, you know, swinging and flipping over, um, this time we're going to put the half moon down and they're going to hang there and they're going to walk their feet sideways and then sideways the other way. Um, just to work on their core strength and their grip strength while they're hanging in yellow. Um, in green, they're going to do the exact same thing, except their feet are going to be together. So they're going to have to use their core muscles to keep their feet together and move them side to side at the same time. Um, they're not going to be able to keep their legs straight yet. Um, so just be aware of that. And then in red, they're going to do backward rolls with the half moon, which I'm so excited about because it's a really easy not spotted station. Um, especially for reds, they, since they already probably know how to do a backward roll. Um, so what you're going to do instead of the half moon being sideways in front of the rings, you're going to put it completely forward in the middle of the rings. So they're going to sit down on top, okay, of the big half moon. They will hold on to the rings. They will lean backward and they will do a backward roll and they'll be able to hold on to the rings the whole time and it is practically doing an entire backward roll without you needing to spot whatsoever. So it's getting them to do their skill but without your full-blown attention the entire time. So you're going to be able to know that they're doing the skill that they need but while you're able to also walk around and help all the other kids as well. Um, and I'm really excited for that one because I think the kids will enjoy it. Um, on the high bar, you will jump off the BOSU ball um, and catch and swing. For yellow, it really doesn't matter how they swing quite yet. Um, but what does matter is them getting comfortable and not scared to jump to the bar um, from a distance. Um, if it is too far with it being on the floor, you're welcome to... Um, Angle it up a little bit. Don't put it fully on the mat and you'll see how it's set up. But almost angle it just a little bit. That way it's a little bit closer because the BOSU ball being on the mat will be entirely way too close. Um, then for green, they'll jump off the BOSU ball but swing in a straddle. By green, unless they're super small, there should be no problem with them jumping to the bar. Um, if it's a fear thing, then you can help them out but really strongly encourage them to be able to do it by themselves. Um... Then, for red, they're going to jump off the BOSU ball and then swing to drop an SLP. So they'll swing, you know, you can decide two, three times, and then they'll be able to drop off onto the purple mat in the back and stop an SLP. Um, please encourage them to be safe when they let go and that they are supposed to land on their feet. If they don't land on their feet, it is not correct, and they will not be able to move on from that station. Um, I don't think you'll have any issues except for the kids that have, you know, those listening issues already. Um, but if you stress to them like, hey, you're supposed to land on your feet or if you want to put like a hula hoop down after the first day, you realize they may need something. <coughs> that's totally fine. Um, then back up. So on the first medium bar, so one of the shortest ones. Um, they're going to jump their feet to the different stars on the mat forward and backwards. So there will be a mat laid down. They will have their hands up on the bar. They will not be in front support. They will just have their hands on the bar. But they will then use the bar to help push their body backwards and forwards and sideways as they hop and touch their feet to each of the stars um, on that mat. So it's getting them to push and pull at the same time while keeping their core tight, etc. Um, then... For green on that station, they will do the same thing, except instead of them being stars, the stars will be gone and you will put random pit blocks down. And they will have to jump forwards, backwards, and sideways again without touching the pit block, so they'll have to jump over it. They're allowed to bend their knees to clear the box, but try and have them keep their legs straight and together for the most part. Um, then for red... They are going to do cast pushaways to each star on the mat. So this one is totally up to you. You can put them in random spots or you can just do like three, one, two, three. So they push back a little further each time. Um, or you can have them in totally random spots and have them kind of push off to the side. Um, it's totally up to you. But yes, cast pushaway, land an SLP on each of the stars wherever you decide to place them. On the second medium bar, so one of the shorter ones, hold body and a tuck off the ground for yellow. So they'll be hanging down, and they're going to try and hold their knees up to their belly button for as long as they can. Um, in green, they're going to hold a chin up with bent knees. Some kids, it's a lot harder for them to do this this young, so you can have them go here. 
but they're just gonna hold their chin up and then hold their body in a tuck again for as long as they can and in red, they're going to do pike up. So they're going to be up in front support. All they're going to try and do is slide their legs up the bar and their booty in the air as far as it'll go. It probably won't go very far, but you're just going to encourage them to then push their booty in the air and push their booty back down. So it's like their front support is getting a little bit higher, if that's how you want to explain it to them. Um, or pushing your shoulders away from your ears and back up. So something like that. Um, then their extra station this time is they're going to do squat ons with the wedge, um, which I found will be really easy. <coughs> um, hopefully, um, this one you may have to spot in yellow, maybe not. It'll just depend. Um, so they're going to put their hands on the mat and then jump their feet onto the bar. So instead of their hands starting on the bar and their feet going on the bar, there will be a floor bar and then the mat in front of it. Their hands will go on the mat. Their feet will jump to the bar and then they will stand up. Okay, that's all they're going to do. Um, for green, they're going to then do the same thing. So hands on the mat, jump feet onto the bar, and then they'll use the mat to help them push off and jump backwards off the bar into SLP. So if they'll stand up a little bit and jump off. Okay, you make sure you get their hands up off the mat, that way they're actually jumping and not still bent over when they jump so they don't fall forwards. Um, then for red, they're going to do the same thing, so squat on, hands on the mat, feet go on the bar, but then their hands will already be on the mat, their head will go down, and they will forward roll down the mat. Um, and then lastly, the bar station that I was excited about, the uneven bar station. So they're going to hang on the tall bar and then use their feet um, on the short bar to walk hands and feet sideways.